latter, speaking against these years acts, of our relationship, you look that not my friend. You look that his friend. Jada was the woman that everybody wanted, and Will needed that validation to have that type of woman. You saw her say that Will Smith had a small dick? Oh, I am saying to you, if a woman is used to something the size of a baby leg, and you come in with a pinky toe, there's nothing you can do to please her. You can buy her 80 cars, you can get her 80 private jets. If she's itching for that baby leg, she want that baby leg. You can beat a person so much that they fall into submission. And who needs enemies when they got friends like you? So I can tell you what goes on in, in, on the inside. Everybody else is just speculation. Damn. Somebody told me I made my pictures in the book. You know, your, yeah, your pictures in the book and your name is in the book. So I'm just like, you're doing some real hell your pimp. I'm blowing you up. I love that. I'm I love that. you up. Dude, this is what Jada makes the new people do. And I ain't going to say no. They probably been there after myself, mm -hmm. right? They will make you check into a rehab. And they'll pay for the rehab. Even though you're not on drugs, they're going to pay for the rehab. And you have to go if you want to work with them. And then I saw sexual acts that I when I walked in on. Who'd you walk in on? Him and Dwayne Martin. Okay. Hollywood is the hurry up and, and, and wait game. So three minutes later after them telling me, hey, you got eyes on Will. You got, we, we, we need him to come watch this. So I'm running all over the, the, the studio. He's not in his dressing room. I go to the cafeteria. I'm like, well, but I see his car there. I'm like, where's this guy at? So now I'm holding Dwayne down too. So I have the keys to his dressing room. So I'm like, yo, and they're calling my, my they, I'm on walkie talkie and they're calling my cell phone. Yo, we need to get Will here. I'm like, yo, kind of fucked down. Like, I'm trying to find is like, this is, this is unlike him, right? So, all right, I open the um, door to Dwayne's dressing room, and that's when I see Dwayne and having anal sex with Will. Let me process that for a second. There was a couch, and um, Will was bent over on the couch, and Dwayne was standing up, killing him. Murder, like, murder. It was murder in there. Okay, what did you do? Even when I was with the Darren hair lights, and I finally said, oh, sh Okay, quick commentary. All praises to Yahweh, by Shemra al Shai, by Shemra Copper Dust. Why the fucking place got to be destroyed, man? All right. All praises to Yahweh, by Shemra al Shai, by Shemra Copper Dust, the honor to the head elders, the apostles. Bishop's a great millstone. Shalom to you, Akin, man. Uh, seven, Psalm 7 and 9. Oh, let the wickedness of the wicked come to an end, which is first and foremost the Edomites, but it trickles on down to you, you know, other nations, to these other nations and wicked Jake, wicked so-called blacks, Latinos, Native Americans, man. Let the wickedness of the wicked come to an end, man. All right? That's what we begging and praying to your how about Shemir how shy for day in and day out, man. Oh, let the wickedness of the wicked come to an end, but establish the just for the righteous power try the hearts and reigns, man. All right, skip down to verse 11. The most high judgeth the righteous, and the most high is angry with the wicked every day. All right, so. It, although it may seem like you so-called white people and you wicked you know, perverted, perverse, you know, justifying wickedness ass niggas, man, other tribes. All right. The Lord is angry at y'all, man. And how about Shemal Shai got judgment waiting, man? You heard you heard what was already said in the clip. I don't need to reiterate nothing. All right. Because this is uh this is this is this is complete darkness, man. Let's get that scripture. Let's get the scripture about darkness, man. That's what this place is fill, filled with, you know? Matter of fact, yeah, I know where it's at. Old woman. <clears throat> wow, man. Wow, wow, wow. It's not surprising, but it's surprising, right? It's just unfucking real like how wicked and evil you niggas are, man. Job 10 and 22. A land of darkness, as darkness itself. This is America. This is so-called America. This is Babylon the Great. A land of darkness, as darkness itself, man. 
All right. And of the shadow of death without any order where the light is as darkness. OK, because when you. Go into the. You know, the occult and the different so-called secret societies. That's what they uphold. You know, they're called deaf, um, deaf occults, man. All right. That's what they uphold. They uphold, you know what I'm saying? Rituals, you know, uh, sexual deviance, sexual depravity. All of this garbage, man. Okay. And these wicked ass niggas of the tribes, be it you so-called blacks, Latinos, Native Americans, you're part of this damn world, be it, you know, Hollywood or just you're just regular you know, owning a business nine to five or just in America, your whole mindset is dark, man. All right. And a lot of you niggas know that you Israelites, man. Isaiah 16 and two. So how much how much more is going to be your judgment, man? Isaiah 16 and two. For behold, the darkness shall cover the earth. In gross darkness, the people, that's what we're living in right now. We're living in complete darkness, man. And Dwadi al-Bashim al-Shah for giving his uh, elect the light. All right. For behold, the darkness shall cover the earth. In gross darkness, the people. But Yahweh Bashim al-Shah shall arise upon thee, and his glory shall be seen upon thee. Yeah, and uh, the Lord has arose upon us and gave us this light. You know, and although a lot of a lot of so-called blacks, Latinos, Native Americans, a good number of them know about this light. They downplay the light. In fact, they they the light is too much for them and they rather they rather be in a freaking darkness, man. They rather go back and be the goddamn the uh, the uh, the twice twice the child of hell, man. But that's on them, man. All right, because sincerity is a rarity, man. You know, you know, you really you really have to have a sincere heart, man, a genuine heart towards this truth. And you got to respect this truth because you don't, you know, you know, that's on you, man. The the, the pretty much. You can't you can't change the truth, man. The truth is going to be the truth, whether, you know, what I'm saying you you uh, you like it or not. All right. This light has given us the truth. Uh, should I said this truth has given us the light, man. You know, we're in the we're in the light now. All right. And the eyes of the Lord are what? Ten thousand times brighter than the sun. So there's nothing that's going to call that's going to go unjudged, man. What does the scripture say, right? It's lucky if I'm all over the place. Uh, just a quick hit, you know. How does it go? Second Corinthians five and ten. For we must all appear before the judgment seat of Hamashiach, Yahweh Shai, that every one may receive the things done in his body or her body according to that he hath done, whether it be good or bad. This is something that the uh you know the bishops was going into last camp on Thursday, you know. And nonetheless, it's, it's just the truth, man. All right. All of this goddamn abominable, you know, madness that's going on amongst you, 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 uh, you jakes. Yeah, how about you, man? i going to judge y'all asses, man. That's this adultery. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's fucking, you, you niggas are disgusting, man. Yeah, how about you, man? i going to deal with y'all, man. Knowing, therefore, the terror of, terror of the Lord. We persuade men, but we are made manifest unto the Most High. 
and I trust are made manifest in your consciousness. You see? Knowing the terror of the Lord, man. All right? You see? And it's a terrible thing to be given over to a what? Reprobate mind, bro. And that's what a lot of you niggas, you fall under that very... You fall under this. You fall under the very... These very scriptures right here, even as Romans 1 and 28, even as they did not like to retain the most high in their knowledge, the most high gave them over to a reprobate mind. Reprobate means void of judgment. To do those things which are not convenient. Yeah, dishonor your bodies amongst one another, be it adultery. All right. Homosexuality. All of this fucking madness, man. You don't like my language. You don't have to watch the video. Screw you. All right. This is, this is, you know, all it is, all it is abominable filth it has to be called out, man. What does the scripture say? Sirach 1726. Turn again to the most high. Yeah. Not feignedly, not fakely, not, not, you know, being a fucking hypocrite, man. Okay. Turn again to the most high. And what? Being, excuse me, being sincere, man. You know, niggas think that they could uh, be an Israelite for a little while, but, you know, they catch in hell or something happens and, you know, they're all in their emotions because of things didn't turn out or not turn out. Things are not so-called, you know, the way they want them to be because of their goddamn emotions. They seek to, uh, justify all right uh, uh you know going astray man that's not turning to the most high turn again to the most high all right and turn away from iniquity and, and that's the thing a lot of niggas go back when you go when you, when you forsake this truth you go back into your 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 uh your former your former ways which is death which is fucking ignorance you, that's first of all, that's sin unto you because you know better. But then you going right back. You going back to your old vomit. You're a fucking retard, man. And I just have to say it like that because, you know. Turn again to the most high and turn away from iniquity, for he will lead thee out of darkness into the light of health. See, for he will lead thee out of darkness into the light of health. Niggas, you, these niggas don't want to go into the light of health. They rather stay in darkness where sickness is and filth and just just nastiness, man. So so be it. But it says in what? And hate thou abomination vehemently. What is one of the abominations, man? Because when you're going back into the world, this is what's filled. This is what the world is filled with. This is what the world is filled with. This is what the world is filled with right here. Leviticus 20 and 13. <laughs> if a man also lie with mankind as he lieth with a woman, both of them have committed an abomination. All right. What is that? Homosexuality. They shall surely be put to death. Their blood shall be upon them. All right. Male and female, man. All right. Point blank period, man. Okay. Scriptures are plain, bro. But, you know, Yahweh Shemeshah wrote this, uh, you know, we are not of those that go into uh, perdition, man. You know, we'll suffer for Yahweh Shemeshah Shai, you know, so he can find us worthy to deliver us out of this madness because the judgment is coming. Shalom.